Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Evian blog. So lots of exciting things happening over here at the Evian blog. One of them being that most future reviews of multimeters and test equipment will come with disassemblies and a basic circuit description of what's going on inside there. Obviously we can't always share the proprietary information from the manufacturers, but we can share what we think of the design overall and how the system holds up. Uh, we can obviously test these meters to at the moment I can test to 5000 but hopefully soon a lot more volts to see how they handle transients, how they handle high voltage etc whether the input protection works or not, that sort of thing so look forward to blowing some shit up quite honestly it sounds like it's harsh but that's what's probably going to happen on quite a few of the entry level things and we're also going to start rebuilding the lab um, because time wise I haven't had time or the finances to go and continue with us all the time so I've pretty much had to push my business the IT internet uh, and repair business uh, just to keep alive and things are getting better now in the business we are making good money and making an okay living but I still don't have cash flow for high high-end equipment I do have some really good multimeters and I do intend on purchasing some nice digital oscilloscopes etc in the upcoming months it's going to take me some time to get back to where I was equipment wise, but stick with me. You'll enjoy the ride and you'll enjoy the reviews of all the new equipment as we acquire it. Uh, thanks for watching everybody. And oh, by the way, if anybody would like me to do a teardown of any of their equipments or anything, please get in touch. We can arrange for you to send it in. We can do a teardown without damaging it. Uh, whatever you like. Um, yeah, almost like a mailbag. So I look forward to seeing what you guys have ideas wise and stay in touch and keep watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cheers for now. Hello YouTube. Okay, so I'm just doing a bit of a tool touch up. As you guys know, um, I showed you guys that nice little compact toolkit for electrical work with the nice high end Wii screwdrivers, etc. So now I'm just going to show you guys another one. Um, the reason why I'm doing these portable toolkits is they're a lot easier to work with out in the field as opposed to now carrying my large big tool bags to every job I basically went in with these so I'm going to get this open and I'm going to show you guys what's inside here and how everything's set up um, just so you guys can see now this kit over here is aimed more at IT networking and telephones um, there's not much testers or anything in here this is more just a toolkit but let's get inside and show you right so here we have the toolkit open um, I'm just going to go through pretty much what's in here. Like I said, this is laid out more from a tools perspective. Uh, we're going to start over here on this side. So, on this side here, the first tool in question is a LAN Ethernet tester. It does BNC as well, but the reason I like this tool above most of the others is it's faster. It can also be removed and placed in a remote location and you can run your tests from here. Now the way this one works is very different from some of the other sort of cheap LAN testers where you switch them on and then they run through the pairs and you've got to keep an eye. This one, you push the button, it'll tell you if it's connected or if there's a problem within a second. So it's just peak pop, you got your result and you don't have to worry about switching it off because it uh, switches itself back into standby after the test. So yeah, that's a pretty cool uh, tester to have. Over here. We've got two BNC um, strippers used for stripping uh, coax, RG58, uh, RG57, whatever coax cables. Here we have a sort of a cheaper 66110 punch down, or in this case push down. This over here is just an additional set for this tool, which we'll get to just now. Then I also have a fairly heavy duty pair of wool, German made. Uh, side cutters. Um, I have quite a few of these. I enjoy using them and believe it or not I actually use this quite a bit with network cabling etc because it cuts through the network cable with ease and it's also pretty straight when you're doing the termination. Um, it cuts it at a bit of an angle so when you push in all the cables work out quite nicely in the connector, the RJ45 or whatever the case may be. Here we just have a normal cable stripper um, for stripping the Cat5, Cat6 cables. Um, and then over here we have a punch down tool. This one I've only got the 110 blade on, but if you flip it over, you've got the 110 with a cutting edge. Uh, nice little tool to have. Uh, locally purchased tool, but can be purchased in China. This is an import. 
also a 110 but I've got the 66 and the 110 blades and a few others now the difference between these there you can actually see the cutting edge on it the difference between these and the chrome tools is that these are designed for 110 blocks and, and 66 blocks and yes there's a major difference between the two right then over here we have a fairly decent quality tool this is from locally element titan um, this is a rj45 rj11 crimper made in taiwan uh, decent quality uh, a little bit expensive but worth the money if you're doing this every day then over here we've got a magnum 25 watt soldering iron not used very often as i do have a gas iron as well but in case you run out of gas or something it's always good to have one of these on standby over here we've got the specialist tool this is a keystone termination tool um, it basically terminates a keystone jack in one click. It also has a RJ45 crimper. I'm not going to go into that all in all. Then over here, on the other side, we've got another fairly good tool. This is the Trendnet uh, RJ45 RJ11 crimper. This is a ratcheted tool, so you can see it locks. So you don't have to worry about uh, letting go or releasing. You can release to take a break if need be. Then we have uh, some sort of major tech uh, Endura brand sides and uh, needle nose pliers over here. I'm not going to take that out as well because it's a needle nose pliers. This is the uh, termination tool or the crimping tool used for squashing down the um, scotch lock connectors for telephone cable joints etc. Also a really good tool to have. Then over here we have a wire, uh, wire stripper and cutter. This is for very fine work, as you can see, 0.2 to 0.8 mil cables. Um, it's used for stripping electronics, wiring, etc. This kit overall is more for electronics, telephones, etc. Then I got two of these. These are just basically your chrome punch down tools. Um, they also have these little, um, what would you call them? Little hook for pulling your wires out etc if you want to pull it out from the chrome block whatever the case may be these are really great tools to have and they also cut off as they punch so when you punch down you'll see that little scissor actually cuts off the cable now this one does have some options which can be enabled or disabled here with these click overs but um, yeah that's pretty much it this over here the same thing just a different brand this is the major tech branded one um, a little bit more of a positive action on these but both doing the same job basically so good to have I suppose um, you kind of do need to have a good set of punch downs in any network toolkit not used very often in networking but a good sharp Stanley knife always good to keep in any toolkit in fact I think I have a few of these one in almost every one of my tool sets then on the last run we just got an IC polyam yeah? and then I want to talk a little bit about these this is a Chinese branded electrician scissors. Now, the reason I enjoy using these for cutting thin wires, etc., is they're definitely stainless. Um, in fact, if you come in over here, you'll see the label there. Stainless steel with the grading 52454HRC. But the thing that makes these so special is on this jaw over here. You see those little serrations over there? It keeps the wire permanently sort of stranded over there while you cut it so it doesn't slide along and out as you're trying to cut them. And then of course you've got this little section over here for cutting cable and wire etc. For the price, these are really good pair of scissors to keep in any toolkit. Um, I like to use them quite a lot in here. And then I'm not going to go through all these screwdrivers, but this is the Endura range of screwdrivers, also supplied by Major Tech. They are quite nice in that they show you whether they're a, a, a positive drive or a flat screwdriver, um, depending which one you need. It's all available there. And uh, overall, this whole bag is actually very nice. Walk in at the clients, you've got all the networking tools, basic networking tools that you need. For anything bigger, obviously you do have other stuff. But let me tell you something, this over here, as it stands, will solve 99.999% of any network or computer related issues. 
with a multimeter of course but I always have several multimeters in my kit so yeah that's just a bit of a run through of my networking toolkit um, it's nothing fancy it's just a new idea I've had with these portable kits um, and the idea being you're neater when you walk in at the client you're just carrying a small amount of gear and you can get most of the work done finished and completed without lugging around a ton of equipment so yeah guys that's pretty much it thanks for watching uh, this tool episode and uh, look out for the next episode where we're going to be doing some more reviews of uh, multimedia equipment um, as requested by quite a few of our clients and we'll take it from there cheers for now